What's up guys? I'm coming through with another video and this is another video request. And the title of this video is Why Your Ex Unblocks You. So there could be many different reasons as to why an ex would unblock you. Either your cell phone number, social media, whatever, right? But the real thing here is, this is how it is, and there's no way around it. If an ex has you blocked to begin with, at this time, they don't want nothing to do with you. They're mad, they're pissed off, they, don't, they want nothing to do with you whatsoever. If they have you blocked. And, if they unblock you, they are thinking about getting in contact with you again. There's no question about that. Because they had you blocked for a reason. If they unblock you, there is something there. Something popped up into their mind to unblock you, and they're thinking about getting in contact with you. Whether... They want to use this as a manipulation tactic. Maybe they think you will notice that they unblocked you. They might think since they did that, now you might reach out to them. And if you reach out to them first after they unblocked you, you just gave them power. Because you just showed them that you cared more than they do. And they could be doing that. I know a lot of girls who do this shit, so. And girls are a lot trickier when it comes to shit like this. There's not a whole lot of dudes that play mind games. There is, but girls like to do this a little bit more, as we all know. So. And there could be many different reasons as to why he or she unblocks you. The list is endless. Like, I'd have to know the situation for what it is and what happened in the past, past history. It goes on and on and on for me to really get deep down into detail. But for what I know, if you go from block to unblocked, there is something there. No question about it. If there wasn't, they would still have you blocked. If they wanted nothing to do with you whatsoever, they would still have you blocked. I know this from experience myself. Even I have unblocked females before. And I did this because there really was something there. And I did get back in contact with people before after doing this. And it ended up being something, but it's not something that ended up lasting. So... That's something else to think about. And in my opinion, X anything is not a good idea. They're an X for a reason. And in all honesty, people don't change. People can make adjustments. People can improve, but True colors are true colors, and if a person is disrespecting you before, cheating on you before, doing you dirty before in some way, they are fully capable of doing that again, and they always do. Just look at the person's past history. Look at, the, look at what the person has done to you, right? That says all. People don't change, they just get better at who they are. If girls like to cheat, or guys like to cheat, they're going to continue to cheat throughout their life. In their mid-twenties, thirties, all the way up to forties, maybe even further. They just get better at who they are. They might get better at hiding it, right? 
It's crazy, bro. This is why I don't, I don't recommend X anything. If there's problems there, there's going to be problems again. If you meet the right person, these things won't exist. The right person will love you and care for you just as much as you care for them. It will be a 50-50 thing. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, all these stupid fucking mind games, bro, it's not worth it. Ask this person what the hell they want. Like, what do you want? Straight up. Be straight up with them. Be blunt. Be raw. Get in their face. Like, because if you do this, they're going to break character. If you just start coming right off the bat, coming at them, and they know you're serious, they know you're not playing games, they're going to reveal their true colors. And they're going to know you're not about this bullshit anymore. They're either going to leave you alone, or if it's real, they're going to make it work. So... But if they know if they know you're that serious, they can feel the heat coming off of you. They can tell you're not to be fucked with. They can tell you know what? I'm not gonna try and even manipulate this person. I'm not even gonna try and get over in this person. I'm just gonna be me. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna tell it like it is, and that's exactly what you want anyway. You don't want to believe that this person is really a good person if they're not. Let's just say that. You want to shit test people as well. Just as much as they shit test you to see what they can get over on you. You want to do this back to them. And you can do that by being blunt and being raw. Right? This is what I do. Some people can't stand it. Some females can't stand it. It's just too much for them. You know why it's too much for them? It's because they can't handle it. They're not real like that. And they already know this isn't going anywhere. They know, holy shit, this guy is too smart for me. He knows. He knows what I am. That's basically what they're saying in their head. Because if you're being blunt and you're being raw with a real woman, with a real girl, she'll probably find that sexy, in all honesty. And she will show you how real she is. She will show you how serious this is. But a little girl that just wants to play around, or a little fuck boy that just wants to play around, they're not gonna show you that. And they're going to continue to lie, manipulate, and do all this shit that they do. Or just leave you alone because some people sense such serious energy off of people that are blunt and raw that they're like, you know what? I ain't going to monkey with this one. Because they know. You know what? This person has probably been through a lot. I ain't even going to try. That's what you want. You might even miss out on some sex or something like that. It's okay. Is that is that just what you want or do you want a serious relationship? Do you want serious connections? Because me personally, I really couldn't give a shit about just fly-by encounters. It does nothing for me. It's not going to put money in my bank account. It's not going to pay my bills. It's not going to put food on my table. What are you going to do? Have sex? And that, now what, bro? Like, really? Now what? Even the girls, like, what are you going to do? Have sex? Now what? What now? Life goes on. Are you just going to keep doing this? Over and over and over again. Giving yourself that quick pleasure. It's the same as partying and drinking and doing all this shit. It's not going to help you in your life. 
You're gonna have a good time for the couple hours you're out and about. Now what? Now you gotta face yourself in the mirror. Right? This is why you want real everything in life. Real relationships, real people, real everything. Real results in your life to better your life. Don't mess around with X. That's just my advice. If you want to do that, you can do that. And I'm not just talking to one person here. I'm talking to everybody, by the way. Yeah. X anything, in my opinion, not a good idea. Unless they really fucking show you. And I mean really show you. And really show you that they want you and just you. And they're not lying about it. And they're actually putting in work. They're actually improving. They actually don't need attention and validation from a hundred other people. They want you that bad. That they're willing to go to deep waters just for you. Then you can give it a shot. Other than that, easy come, easy go. If they want to come so easy, they're going to go just as fast. And they're only going to come to take something from you, to get what they want out of you, and then they're gone. And I'm going to end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it. If you have not subscribed yet and you're new here, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. I'll be back with another video very soon. New rule, com new rule coming pretty soon. And I'll put that in the description box. When I do put it in the description box, you guys will see it. Until then, I'm out.